Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. So this is my thrift store find for today. You're probably wondering, what the heck, Coin Picker? What have you gotten yourself into again? All right, so I got this vintage, made in Taiwan coin bank that depicts uh, a Canadian old Canadian dollar from like 1930 something, I think 30. Eight, can't really read it. Um, yeah, for six ninety nine plus tax, it's hand decorated Sheffield. Even though it has an English name, it's actually made in Taiwan from the fifties. So why would I spend like almost seven hundred, the seven dollars and fifty cents with tax, you know, including taxes, for one of these? Which I think I bought one before. You might remember for like two bucks. All right, did for you folks, just for the sake of treasure hunting. When I looked in here, there were, I believe, this is what I believe, one quarter, two dimes, and a nickel. So just by the look of it, and part of the design that I could see, as well as the patina, they look like the coins that would have been put in here when this piggy bank, I don't know if you call it piggy bank, this coin bank was brand new. So coins from the 50s at the very least. Because I think uh, I saw one of the verses that showed like a young King George the sixth, basically 19, 1950s coinage of verses. So just, for the excitement, actually, you know, I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I think it was one quarter, two dimes and a nickel, but it could possibly be three dimes and a nickel. But if I'm correct, that means silver value, silver value, I get about, I don't know, almost $12. So I almost doubled my money and I still have this collectible bank. I mean, that's worth at least what I paid. Well, basically. Um, yeah, so it's really just the thrill of the hunt. And you know what? The coins might be worth more than their silver value. All right, they're 80% silver. Um, but they look like um, in decent condition. I mean, if they were new coins from circulation, well, not new coins, coins from circulation that were consistent with the time period thrown in there, soon after they were issued, uh, they should be at least in extra fine condition, I'd, I'd say. Not much time to, uh, to be you know, worn um, or circulated. So collectible wise, I mean, even if they're average years in the 50s, um, the quarter might be worth, I don't know, 10 bucks, maybe 15 extra fine condition yeah more like 15 20 the dimes might be i'd say four four to five dollars maybe more uh, three to four dollars we'll see we're gonna find out the nickel as uh, you know i don't know face value but uh yeah pretty cool i'm going to try to do a non-destructive uh, removal of the coins because obviously there's no plug in here i think that's the only reason why the coins are still in this bank because you actually have to destroy the bank typically to remove the coins. So I'm going to try to fish them out of this hole without damaging the coins or damaging this bank. So um, probably going to try some sort of sticky paper, maybe some cardboard to slide them out or stick them out, you know, stick them and fish them out. So I will let you know after, after I try. Okay, talk to you shortly. All right, I'm back. So here's the bank, totally sealed. You hear it rattling around. So I have a pair of scissors and I have some super sticky carpet tape. So I'm going to cut off 
a little bit. See how I can do this. Just enough. It's too wide. All right, trim it a little bit. Get in. Oops. All right, bingo. Number one. All right, I will show you the reveal after I fish out all of them. All right. All right. Good, good, good. We are on track. Mind you, this is super sticky, super sticky tape. Dropped one. Try again. I think I caught one. Oh, lost it right at the last second. Maybe, maybe, oh, oh, yes. Ugh. Almost. Almost, almost. Actually, harder harder than it looks. Oh. Right, how about this? When it goes to that side, then I swing the tape over. Don't want to keep on banging these coins around unnecessarily. Oh. Alright, try again. The first one was super easy. You know what? I think I need a toothpick. I'm going to grab a toothpick to help with this removal. So wait one second. I'm 
All right. So I have a toothpick to help with this removal. Actually, I caught two. Oh my goodness. Caught two on one tape. All right. Great. We're almost done. Should be only two coins left. Great, I just created a new technique. Tape with a toothpick. TNT, literally it's like dynamite. Tape and a toothpick. Oh. Just drop that. So sometimes it is worth picking up old coin banks from the thrift store. Right. This type might be getting a little bit old, you could say. Almost had it. Oh, I think I got the quarter. I think so. Oh, yes. Definitely use that toothpick to push it down onto the tape even harder. All right. We got one coin left. Then we can do the big reveal. Oops, almost had it. Is actually fun. Maybe it is worth the money I paid. Oh, dropped it. Plus, I still saved the bank, the coin bank. Oops. Almost had it. You know what, I think this tape is not that good anymore. So we'll move on to tape number two. That's it, we're done. All right, get ready. This is the fun part. All right, here we are. So I had this tape, use these two pieces, cut off with some scissors with the help of a toothpick I was 
able to pull out these coins. All right, so this one is from, this is like Queen Elizabeth II. So a little bit newer than these ones. So that's how we're gonna do it. Let's start with smallest denomination to the biggest. All right, so this is the five cent coin. Have a nice look of that. Very nice condition. What year is this? 1942. That is a very good year. It is a wartime issue and the first dime. Here you go. All right, what year is this? Actually, these coins might have been put in during the 60s because there, there is some wear to these coins. Let's see if we can focus in. Nineteen. Let's see, is that nineteen fifty six? All right, I have to look closely into that. No, that is the 1950. Yep, 1950. Nineteen fifty. Next one. Nineteen forty. Yeah, Nineteen forty. That is cool. And third dime. Nineteen forty three. And the 25 cent coin. That is quite a bit of toning. 1953, all right, that's her first year. So very consistent, actually. I thought it was from the 60s, so I, I guess I was wrong there. So we have 1940, all right, let's starting from the earliest is 1940, 42, 50. Oh, I missed one, sorry. Starting again. Starting from the oldest, we have one from 1940, then 1942, 1943, 1950, and then 1953. Pretty cool. Was it worth $6.99 plus tax? I think the fun was priceless. But uh, definitely there was some profit to be made. Small profit, but it was very fun. And I have some silver to add to my stack. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.